Anybody that's been watching this channel for a while has seen me using this little hook rule. This isn't really anything special, certainly isn't my idea or my design, but it's still a very handy little hook rule. Unlike the blacksmith hook rules that you mark graduations on, this is an actual ruler that has graduation. So you can use it to measure various things and it's a good handy way to, to hook onto something to get very accurate measurements because it also has an outside scale. You can use it for outside measurements. There's a scale on the end here and a scale on the inside. It can be used for lots of different quick measuring jobs. At the forge it's very useful but sometimes the hook ruler with the pencil marks is better and sometimes dividers and calipers are better. So it just depends on what the right tool for the job is. But sometimes this is it. And people have asked, oh, where do you get one of those? Well, you make one. This is nothing more. I happen to have a little box here. Then a square. They got all these taped together. So this is just a Stanley square that I buy. And you can find squares similar to this at the home center. The reason I chose this one was both because of the size of it. I was wasting as little of this leg as, as possible as opposed to a big framing square. But also because the letters are not printed, they're etched in. So they're permanent letters, and if it starts to get corroded and rusty, you can polish it back up, and those, all the numbers and graduations will still be there. These are uh, super simple to make. It's just a matter of cutting the extra leg off. You can cut it off anywhere you want. Heck, you can use it like this, but I think it's handier without that leg sticking out, cause, partially because I can stick it in my back pocket. And what I have decided is that I like to go from this two inch mark so that I have a two inch back section and I like to have the one inch here and those are handy measurements to just have as quick references so I go from that two inch and I just cut a 45 degree angle here prop that up on something so I'm just going to scribe across here so that I can see that. And then I'm going to go from the one inch mark, which you know, already has a nice scribe mark. I just carry that across. So I'll knock that corner off and cut that. Makes a nice, neat, neat little uh, square to work with that way. And this is a Stanley, does it have a part number? Of course, I don't see a part number on there, so I'm not sure what it is. Oh, there it is, 45-912 written right in here. 45-912 is the model of the square. But like you say there are lots of other squares you can do this out of. If you want a big version, use a big framing square. I wouldn't use an antique square though because they're hard to come by and have or often better squares. But if you want a real big one, you could use a square like this. Or you could use this half of the square. Just depends on what you need. But I would buy a new lower budget square. So that's useful just like it is, but I still want to lop that corner off. The truth is, I usually do this in the uh, little porta band. It makes nice quick work of it. That's basically the, the whole job right there, except there's sharp burrs on here. So I would take a file, a fairly fine file, and I would file the burrs off. Or what I usually do is I take it, I've got a fiber deburring wheel on a grinder, and I'll use that just real lightly, just enough so there's no sharp spots. It's going to be a tool you're going to have the rest of your life, you might as well make it nice. I like to hang mine up on a nail, so I'm going to put a hang hole in this. Let's pick a spot where the hole won't be in your way, 
I won't mess up with any of your graduations and put a center punch mark. Use a hand drill or a drill press, whatever you got. I think it's worth taking just a, another second and knock the burrs off of the countersink. No reason to cut yourself on this while you're using it. And that is pretty much it. Except for peeling the label off. That seems to be the most tedious part of this because they always tear and leave film behind. So you're going to need some goo gone or some other kind of solvent to help you get the sticky off the label. But other than that, that's quick, easy to make. These squares cost about $5 plus shipping if you buy them and have them shipped. If you find them at your local home center, they may be more like $6 and you don't have to pay shipping. No big deal. It's a quick, inexpensive, very functional tool. I like having them around. But if you don't want to take the time to make one for yourself, I frequently have these listed on my Etsy shop. I make up a half dozen or so which is why I had a box of squares. And if you want to, there's the commercial announcement. You can go buy one of these on Etsy. In the meantime, go out to the shop, have some fun, stay safe, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you later.